DevOps engineers are one of the highest paid professionals in the tech industry today. And if you are watching this video, most likely you are someone who wants to get into DevOps or want to learn DevOps. But with so many different tools and technologies like Terraform, Ansible, Linux, AWS, Jenkins, Docker, Kubernetes, and so much more, learning DevOps can be very time consuming and confusing. And that is why in this video, I'm going to share with you a complete DevOps roadmap that you can follow to learn DevOps from scratch and also an excellent resource you can use to learn all these DevOps tools at one place. So watch this video till the end. Before we start with the video and look into the DevOps roadmap, let me introduce myself. My name is Nasiullah Chaudhary, also goes by CloudChamp on YouTube, and I work as a freelance DevOps engineer for multiple companies. The roadmap shared in this video is the exact roadmap I followed to learn DevOps from scratch. And I'm pretty sure if you watch this video till the end, you will have a clear idea on what things to learn and what not to learn and get jobs faster. A DevOps engineer is responsible for deploying application and automating the manual process. But how can you automate a manual process if you don't know how is an application created? So first thing you need to know is to understand the concepts of software development. What is a build? What is software deployment? So generally try to understand the whole software development lifecycle from idea to code and to releasing the application to end users. After you understand the software developer lifecycle, and now you have an idea of how is an application created, second thing you need to know is Linux. Linux is very, very, very important. A DevOps engineer should have a good hands-on knowledge with Linux. Need to know all the important commands because every DevOps tools you look at, let's say Ansible, Terraform, Kubernetes, Docker, all of them work on commands and you can only manage to work with them when you have good hands-on knowledge with Linux. So learn Linux. In Linux, you can learn things like shell commands, Linux file systems and permissions, SSH key management, virtualization, some part of networking like load balancers, how to set up firewalls, how IP addresses work and much more. Linux is very important, so it's also called as operating system of the cloud. So spend time learning Linux. Now, most of you might be confused and you might ask, let's say I want to learn all these tools, but where should I find the resources? You can learn this from YouTube, some of these from blogs, some from documentation, but they are all scattered, which will waste your time. So rather than that, I would suggest you checking out an excellent DevOps program by Simply Learn. This postgraduate DevOps program by Simply Learn is in collaboration with IBM, which will teach you all the important DevOps tools that you require in order to become a DevOps engineer, like Terraform, Maven, Ansible, Jenkins, Docker, Kubernetes, Git, and a lot more. Along with industry projects that will provide you hands-on experience and can help you become DevOps engineer faster, and also a certification by Caltech, which will validate your learning in DevOps. So you can check out the learning path here and the reviews by previous learner. Wow, all of them are five-star reviews. So click on the link in the description and click on apply now. For this program, you don't require any prior work experience. You require a bachelor degree with an average of 50% or higher marks. You can be from programming or non-programming background, which makes this program for everyone. So click on the link in the description, click on apply now, fill in all your details and proceed to start learning DevOps with Simply Learn. Next important thing after learning Linux is going to be Git because every company is going to store their code online on Git repositories like GitHub, GitLab or Bitbucket. So our DevOps engineers need to know how to work with Git to clone and push the code from local machine to Git repositories or from Git repositories to local machine. Also understand what is branching, how does branching works, what is merge request, what is pull request and a lot more. So a DevOps engineer should have a good understanding of Git and also know all the most used Git commands. Once you have cleared your basics, now is the time to learn cloud because DevOps engineers need to know how to create servers, databases, storage, virtual VPCs and lot more on the cloud. You can choose any cloud like AWS, Azure, GCP, IBM, Oracle or anything. But the DevOps engineers need to know how to create infrastructure to deploy their applications and software on the cloud. Once you have learned how to create infrastructure and deploy your applications on the cloud manually, you need to automate this because DevOps is all about automation. So you can automate this using infrastructure as code tools like Terraform, Ansible, Chef, Puppet, and a lot more. But I would suggest you learning only these two tools, which are Terraform and Ansible, that are highly used in the industry today. Learning Ansible and Terraform can provide you with so many job opportunities. So start with learning Terraform and Ansible after you have mastered creating an application on the cloud manually. Due to rise in demand and application stability, companies are shifting from servers to containers 
which is why you need to learn Docker and Kubernetes. For Docker, you need to understand the concepts of virtualization and concept of containerization. Also, you need to know how to containerize an application and run it on a server or a Kubernetes cluster. You need to know the commands on how to create a Docker file, how to create a Docker image, how to run containers, networking in Docker, and some of the parts. For Kubernetes, you need to understand the Kubernetes architecture, what is deployment, what is replica set, what is pod, what is node, and how to properly manage a containerized application using Kubernetes cluster, either on EKS, AKS, or GKE, which is going to Kubernetes engine. So it is very important for you to understand and know the commands to properly work through containerization, which is a leading and a popular tool right now in the market. Next, very important thing for a DevOps engineer to learn is going to be CI, CD or continuous integration and continuous deployment because every company wants to deploy their application automatically. In DevOps, all code changes like new features or bug fixes should be integrated in the existing application and provided to the end user in an automated fashion. And you can only do this by using CI, CD. So a DevOps engineer should know how to set up CI, CD server, how to integrate code repositories to trigger pipeline automatically when there is a change and to fix bug faster and to provide better quality software to the end user very fast in automated fashion. Some popular CI CD tool includes Jenkins, GitLab, Circle CI, Travis CI. So learning CI CD will help you land your job very, very fast and it's very important, also known as heart of DevOps. So you should master CI CD. All the tools that we have mentioned till now will help you deploy an application on the cloud or on containers anywhere. But once the software or your application is in production, it is very important for you to monitor it, to track performance, to see if there are any issues, check system resources like CPU or RAM or anything. So one of the responsibilities of DevOps engineer is to set up software monitoring, infrastructure monitoring, collect logs, and to visualize data to check if there are any issues or if system has less resources or not. So you need to learn tools like Prometheus, Grafana, uh, also logging tools like CloudWatch or ELK Stack, which is very important to make sure that an application is running without any issues and without any problems. Congratulations, now you know all the tools and technologies you require to become a DevOps engineer. But DevOps is all about automation and there is always going to be something that you can automate. So to automate this, you will require scripting language. And some of you might argue, that scripting is not required or you don't need any programming language in DevOps. Coding is not a thing in DevOps, but that's not actually true. You will require knowledge of one programming language or a scripting language because you need to automate the manual process. So some popular scripting language can be Bash, PowerShell, uh, which are all OS related. So you can use Bash in Linux and PowerShell in Windows and non-OS related are Python, Go, Ruby. Uh, which is what I would suggest. I would suggest you trying to learn Python, which will help you automate all the manual process like uh, rotating passwords of your databases, like starting a deployment, starting a build or, or clearing cache. Anything that you are doing manually can be automated through scripting languages using this Python or Go or Bash. My suggestion would be to start with Python. And if you love Python, you will be unstoppable and you will have more value as a DevOps engineer. And you don't need to learn any programming language at a software engineer level. You just need to know enough Python or enough Go just to write scripts which can automate your things. You don't need to go deep in uh, DSA and all those things, which are very common questions that I get. So just focus on learning Python in a way where you can automate things by writing scripts. So just the basics, not to advance, only to automate stuff. So there you have it, a complete DevOps roadmap to learn things from scratch. Along with this, make sure you have your LinkedIn perfect, you attend meetups, and also enroll to the Simply Learn DevOps program. Thank you and have a good day.